Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 6.05. I'm at the Prompong BTS. I'm heading to immigration today, the day everybody dreads going and uh, getting my extension on my nano for retirement visa. I'm going to take the green line here, just one stop up to a Seoul, transfer to the blue line, the MRT, going to Bangsu Station. Then I'm going to jump on the red government line, go up to Lexi, where you would stop if you're getting a tourist visa or an extension on a visa exempt stamp. That is in that little shopping mall. Instead, I'm going to transfer to the new pink line, the monorail, which takes me to Chang Watana Immigration Division 1 here in Bangkok. Let's see how long it takes. It should take a little over an hour, and I'm giving myself plenty of time. Uh, everything opens up at 8.30. But going back to my Navy days and uh, being terrified of missing ships movement, you never want to be that guy. I'm always a half hour early. If I'm not a half hour early, I'm late. We are starting the voyage at 6.10. I just arrived at the Asolk BTS station. I'm now going to walk underground to the MRT station, which is Sukhumvit, and jump on the train to Bang Su. There's a little bit of confusion. They renamed Bang Su Krum Krung Tep Apiwat Terminal, but it's still marked as Bangsu on the MRT. However, when you look things up, like the train from Bangsu to Wahin, there is no Bangsu. It, it's only Krung Tep Apiwat, but don't worry about it. I, I, it might be listed as both on the MRT. I'm not sure, but I know you'll see Bangsu. Not a problem. Things are kind of slow at, uh, this is probably one of the busier intersections in Bangkok. But in an hour, yeah, this place will just have hundreds of people running around. And everything's clearly marked in Thai and English, so just follow the arrows downstairs to the MRT Sukhumvit station. If you're starting your voyage from the Asok Junction here, it is 6.13. I need to go buy a ticket, go hop on the train. And they also have a frequent traveler card, like the rabbit card and the BTS. I don't have it for this MRT. I take it so infrequently. You can use your visa card. It's a little hit or miss. You hold the visa card up there and buzz in and buzz out. And that should all work fine. It seems to work about 75% of the time. So with nobody in the uh, ticket line for the kiosk or the human I'm just gonna walk up and uh, also take the time to break a thousand baht note. 42 baht was the fare from Sukhumvit to, I don't know what it is, six or seven stops up to Bangsu. And we are getting on the train in the direction of uh, Rama 9 or Thailand Cultural Center, Lat Prao. So platform two today. And if you get on the train, try to stay up by the door where the uh, map is. And don't panic if you're going the wrong way, just get off at the next station and switch around. And the large train station is still clearly marked Bang Su. BL11. If we were going to the airport today, we would just take the train one stop up to Pechaberry, then walk across to the Makassan train station and get on the airport rail link. Head out to Suwanapum. There are big signs that say from Makassan, 22 minutes. I think it's a four train express stop. I've been waiting about three minutes. I, I don't know. I think the MRT runs every five minutes and the bts every three minutes it, it just seems like the bts is uh you're either walking up as a train's departing or approaching and one comes shortly after i always seem to wait a little bit more for the mrt but it might be my imagination and if we were on platform one heading in the other direction the next stop would be queen circuit convention center and then up towards uh chinatown Okay, we're taking off from Sukhumvit, and the next stop, if we're going in the correct direction, should be Pechaberry. You can, he can, you can hear the announcements are made in Thai and English. And this is a little poker chip. You just touch it to the gate to enter, and you drop it at your destination. If, if for some reason you paid the wrong fare, there's a window there where you can go up and... Uh, top up the other two or three bot you own to get out. Here's Pechaberry Station. 
it's a little bit of a walk from here over to Makassan. Give it 10 minutes. Maybe you'll do it in six or seven, but it's not walking from one train to the other. I guess it's a little further than I thought. The next stop, Rama 9, is number 20, and we're going to stop 11, Bangsu. And Bangsu, which is now Krung Tep Apiwat, Krung Tep means City of Angels, and Krung Tep Apiwat means Bangkok, I believe City of, of Prosperity. I take it back, I had to look it up. Prosperity of Bangkok. And Bangkok is actually Krung Tep Mahanakan, but the, it's just shortened to Krung Tep. And we've made our way to Lap Prao Station. This is kind of the new on Newt. If you remember 10, 15 years ago, everybody was heading out to on Newt to save a little cash. Now it's Lap Prao. And uh, not less than 15 minutes from here to Sukhumvit Assault Junction. 6.32 a.m. leaving Lap Prao. And the next station at 6.42 is Bang Su. They made an announcement. This is where you can connect to the red line. Here it is, 6.43, Bangsu Station. I'm probably gonna be an hour early, but that's okay. I'll get a bite to eat, and gather my thoughts, get ready for uh, the big immigration day. I believe I take this exit one and two, Bangsu Railway. I don't see anything listed for the red yet, but when I pop out on the other side, drop my poker chip in, I, I believe there's a sign pointing you in the direction. And Thailand has a great system of trains, both the BTS above ground and the MRT under. There's, there's all these signs. I mean, it's, it's not that complicated. Don't be afraid to try the trains. And this is also where you'd come to take the longer range trains. I know you can catch the train to Wai Hin here. And once again, I'm just going by memory, but just follow the signs to the Bangsu Grand Station. Yeah, half the signs say Bangsu and half say Krung Tep Ap Apiwat. And we're heading from the underground back up to the street level to the main train station. Here's a list of uh, some of the longer range trains. It's in Thai right now. It'll switch over to English in just a second. So there you go. We have a special express, Surtani, Chiang Mai, Chong, on and on. So where it says commuter train, right there is the ticket office. Once again, you'll drop a poker chip or you'll tap the chip here and get on the red line. And today we're going to Lexi. I believe it's L-E-K-S-I. Alrighty, it was 20 baht and she told me to go up to platform three. This is also the same process to go out to the older Don Wong Airport. You'll just go two or three stops past uh, Lexi. And it's a fairly large train station. I'm sure there are elevators everywhere. There are stairs and escalators to also get up to the platform. And I'm not sure, I think I read somewhere, this uh, government red train runs every 10 minutes. It's 6.51. We'll see when it approaches. Yes, it looks like uh, 7 o'clock and 7.10. So I probably just missed the other train by one minute. Again, no big deal. And it's about 6.54. I see the train approaching, but I think it's just going to sit here till 7 o'clock. The half dozen other times I've, I've taken the train, I walk up and I don't panic, but I kind of hustle towards the train. And then I just sit there for another five or six minutes waiting to take off. And there's the map. We are in Bang Su. And we're going one, two, three, four, five stops to Lexi, L-A-K-S-I. And if you went two more stops, you'd be at Don Wong Airport. It's 6.55 a.m. I suspect we'll, we'll sit here for five minutes and take off right at seven. And from Prom Pong to now, I've been traveling 48 minutes. Now there's a sign that says 20 baht maximum fares from October 16th, 2023. And we are now in 2024. So hopefully that will continue on. I saw something online that there's some kind of proposal trying to make all train stops a maximum of 20 baht. But that's not the case right now. Some BTS fares might cost you uh, 47 baht.
She told me the platform to head to, but just make sure you're on the Rangsit, R-A-N-G-S-I-T. That is the last stop in, on the direction we need to head. You can go in the other direction from Bangsu. It goes three stops, but Shadow Chuck Station. There's the more old school train. That should be the first stop past Bangsu. It's 7.30 a.m. We've arrived at Lexi and this shopping mall right here. This is where, unless they've changed things, and I don't think they have, when I scheduled my appointment, I saw you could make an appointment to come here and extend for 1900 baht your either tourist visa or visa exempt stamp you received the 60 days when you arrived in Thailand. Come here and get uh, 30 more days for 1900 baht. But we are going to now leave the government red and head to the pink line. And I see the tracks over here. It's a noisy train. So I'm sure there'll be signs that guide you to the pink line. Well, there it goes. It's a monorail, Disneyland style. I also read that the pink line is accepting the BTS rabbit card. I know the yellow line does, even though technically I think it's a part of the MRT system. The MRT blue does not. Yeah, here's a sign. I'm not sure why it's in red and not pink, but to the MR pink line, take exit seven. So we'll drop our poker chip. I know we have traveled on the green line, which takes a rabbit card, the MRT, which is a different payment system, the red line is a third payment system, and theoretically, the pink could be a fourth, but I think it's going to take the rabbit card. We'll find out. And here it is, all clearly marked. This is nice compared to uh, many countries around the world. You're just uh, in these huge train stations with 30 different exits trying to figure out which is the best to get to the next platform. We have a, a little bit of a walk, but it's all uh, covered from the sun and rain. I could have took a grab car or a taxi out here, but this is uh, Bangkok traffic, and there are so many high-ranking government officials out in this neck of the woods. You'll just be stopped and sitting there for five, ten minutes and a motorcade will come by. So pick your spots, plus they'll charge you for the toll road. So let's say it's uh, about 400 baht for a grab, tack on another 70 baht for the tolls. And when you're returning from immigration, it's all clearly marked how to get over to the red line, Laxi Station. Just get on the correct way. Don't go towards Don Muang Airport. Head off to Bangsu. And that's what we're heading for. PK-14, Pink-14, Laxi. And if my rabbit doesn't work, right there is the uh, window to buy a one-way ticket. We're going to Nantabury Civic Center. You'd think there would be a, a big sign saying to immigration, Cheng Watana. I mean, that's a, a pretty popular destination. But the young lady there, she pointed to platform two. And of course, I know not everybody is heading to immigration, but most people that are probably first time riders, they are heading to immigration. So that, that sign could be helpful. And I did not bother to uh, even see what the station was called. I think it's called Government Station. It's, it's not called Chang Watana Immigration. So I think it's Government Complex. I know it's off in this direction I'm, I'm pointing. So I'm just going to get on a monorail that way. And I saw something online that it was two stops. I know in the past, before the pink line was here, I would do what I just did get off here at Lexi and then jump on a motorbike and go, I'll guess it's two, two and a half kilometers in the direction I'm, I'm looking to the large Pentagon-sized complex. Oh, and if I uh, didn't mention, it took my rabbit card no problem. It's now 725. And there is the uh, monorail on the other side. If it's anything like the new yellow line, and I assume 
it is. They, they appear to be the same kind of uh, style of terrain. They don't have a driver, so it's ran remotely. To add a little bit of confusion, there is a Cheng Watana 14 stop. I think I go two stops to government complex, but the next stop is Cheng Watana, which oftentimes when you're talking about going to immigration in Bangkok, you'll say I'm heading out to Cheng Watana. But I do not believe you get off at that uh, Watana 14. So head of government complex, I could be wrong. It's my first time riding this pink. And this is the National Telecom stop. And I believe that's the building. Maybe not. I'll know it when I see it. And let's see, it appears there's a walkway here. And this was our exit. Pink PK-12 government complex. Oh, and I apologize, I didn't uh, check the fare to go that two stops on the pink line. I'm, I'm sure it was under 30 baht. I just buzzed in and buzzed out with my rabbit. And I'm taking exit three. This might be a mistake. I don't see, I see Department of Consular Affairs, Royal Thai Armed Forces Headquarters. So get to the bottom of uh, exit four here. There's no sign or anything, but you can't miss that huge building. Yeah, so I guess I was wishful thinking that I'd jump off the pink line and be standing at the front door of immigration. You are to that building A, but we're heading over to building B. So now I'm at the motor taxi stand. And I, by all accounts, it should be a two minute motorbike ride, but I don't want to be wandering around in, in circles. So I'm just going to jump on a bike. So 20 baht motorbike. We'll be there shortly. All right, and here's building B. You can see why I was confused. It's the same kind of uh, structure, but we're just gonna go up this little road right back up here, and that is the main entrance into immigration. And that was actually a, a pretty good distance from the pink line. I would definitely hop on a motorbike or give yourself over 10 minutes to walk over here. It's, uh, it's not hooked to the pink line, that's for sure. That building A is. But we're heading to building B. And here it is, building B, gate two. And immigration is right when you walk in. Your bags will be searched, and in you go. And it's just before eight o'clock. You can see there are a couple hundred people in line. They are waiting to go into the counter. Now, not everybody is doing a, a non-O for retirement extension. I just talked to a gentleman. He's doing a 90-day report, and there's a lot of younger people here. There's all kinds of action going on but you have to wait in this main queue when they throw the doors open at 8 30 you tell them where you're heading and they head you, hand you an a ticket b ticket c ticket so there you go there's a little uh wrap up on getting over to the cheng watana division one immigration here in bangkok it's not quite straightforward if you're coming as you saw from uh, on Newt, or in my case, Prompong, you need to take the green to the blue, to the red, to the pink. But it's not, it's not all that tricky. Everything's clearly marked and it's uh, super affordable. A cab, eh, 400 baht with tolls is not the end of the world, but the problem is traffic and an accident and now you've missed your appointment and, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Go ahead and... Uh, give the train a try if nothing else take a cab over here maybe take the train home just do what i did in the exact reverse once you get that stamp in your passport you're nice and relaxed it's a nice easy ride out of here so thanks for watching and there'll be more videos to come we'll see you later